Hey guys, so we're back here today to do a follow-up on the uh, eggs that were being laid the other day. And here they are. Alright, so um, I tried to make a commentary the other day that um, didn't turn out because of technical issues. But, um, so these eggs are laid in groups because the uh, caterpillars are gregarious which means they live in a, in a small pack for most of their lives. You can see that they've turned quite dark, which is good news, which means they will be hatching soon. Okay, so those four um, yellow ones are probably latecomers. Very likely they're not fertilized at all. So when the caterpillar first emerges, they will often eat the shells of their eggs, and this is thought um, to provide them with essential nutrients in their early lives. Sometimes cannibalism does happen, so it is quite imperative that they uh, emerge as quick as they can and at the same time, but we'll see. So I hope to document um, the growth of these caterpillars as they come and go. Hey everybody, so I'm back here and it's not even been 24 hours, but I've got something awesome to show you. They've get a, a good focus on this. Ah, the camera's not focusing. Okay, anyway, so um, you will see that the caterpillars are in a group and uh, they will continue to live in this group until they mature, at which point they will start wandering off on their own to uh, form a pupae probably hopefully around this fence so I can film that as well all right so um, one thing about these plants is that if you um, crush the leaves it produces this sticky yellow sap and that's um, it's actually mildly poisonous and that's what's protecting the caterpillars so they eat this stuff and they sort of sequester the poisons in their blood and they return they, they retain this as butterflies and so that was one of the reasons why the butterfly was it was pretty tame looking, it was not um, flying away or anything like that. Okay, so I finally got a great focus shot of this. You can see them going at it, their jaws are still very tiny, so what they're doing is they're, they're eating just the uh, soft membranes of the leaves, so they'll leave the veins alone. And yeah, hopefully this plant will stay here for a while, so we'll come back periodically to check it out. Hey guys, as you can see the caterpillars have grown a lot bigger. And they're a lot more active as well. So they're just um, moving about from leaf to leaf. And you'll notice that they, um, they leave a, a thin silk, a silken thread behind them when they walk. And um, this is actually a defense mechanism. So when, for example, a predator approaches, like so, um, they can just fall, drop right off the leaf and uh, climb back on. Okay, so they're starting to grow some spines, and these spines are quite, quite harmless, really. And um, the reason why they have these is because um, there are a lot of ants and um, crawling predators in these plants. And what, what the spines do is that they create a barrier between the caterpillars and the predators. It's pretty neat. 